Welcome to Channel X TV, sponsored by Volo. Delighted to be joined by John Dempster from Parts Doc today um, to talk about ERP, Enterprise Resource Planning, and how it can supercharge a business. So welcome, John. How are you today? Thank you, Chris. I'm doing good. Thank you. Uh, lovely to meet you. Um, looking forward to this. Should be good. Yeah, so let's let's start off. Tell us a little bit about the business because I, I I know it, it's it, it's quite a long long established business. So how did you get started? What do you do? Yeah, so we we started off life as a retail shop here um, in County Down, Northern Ireland. Um, I joined the company about uh, about twenty three years ago. Um, we were small retail. Single site, um, mainly motor factors, doing other little bits and pieces as well. We, the boss back then had already started um, sort of dabbling a wee bit on eBay, uh, mainly getting rid of some very old stock and stuff like that. Um, we're based in quite a small town here. There's bigger towns across the way. We're sort of competing with us on footfall through the door. So, it just made sense and the business just started to develop and quickly rotated to the sort of online sales more than more than retail um thankfully the retail kept up enough that we now have two retail premises and a pretty pretty strong online presence now as well for um for sales through most platforms Fantastic. So going back to the early days, how were you actually running the e-commerce side of the business um, before you took on a e-commerce ERP system? Was, was it all done manually? Was it spreadsheet? How, how did you actually cope? Totally manually and cope would be not the right term to use. <laughs> um, we, in the early days, we were doing a handful of orders a day. Um, and just kept growing and growing and growing. And it got to the point where suddenly there's hundreds of thousands of listings live on mainly eBay platform back then. And we we just got to the point where we struggled and struggled and struggled. And thankfully we did go the ERP route and it definitely took pressure off. And what marketplaces are you selling on today? What channels do you use? We concentrate mainly on eBay and Amazon. So the, the big two in the UK. Yeah, exactly. Now, going back to when you first selected an ERP system, what were the main factors that you used to, to choose the system you went with? And what, what was important to the business back then? Yeah, the primary things was definitely ease of use. Uh, we, we're in a wee small town here in, in the country a wee bit. A lot of the guys working here weren't really particularly clued up on computers. And this whole internet side of things back then was... was I don't think anyone was back then. <laughs> so ease of use was definitely something. Um, price was definitely a factor, obviously. Um, we, we sell a lot of smaller price items, so... The, the without a huge amount of margin on them so price price was definitely had the had the plates part as in every business and uh, that was it just functionality then was a strong um a strong yeah. factor that we needed and was it mainly for inventory control do you use it for your supply chain as well obviously you're going to use it for for the marketplaces and the incoming orders and uh, and everything but what 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 else did you really need it to do for you we we needed uh we needed inventory for sorry excuse me inventory control um uh order processing was a big factor uh, listings listing management was also quite a big deal back then ebay didn't have any bulk edit tools so i remember the days well yes so whenever you have a couple of hundred thousand listings live on ebay and ebay turns around and moves the goal post for lack of better terms where they wanted something done definitely yeah because things like the, the category updates the the, the item specifics the fitments etc <laughs> yeah yeah even even back before those days it was images being changed and things like that it would it would took just manual labor and obscene amount of time 
whereas thankfully the ERP just really cut that out mm. and give us a lot more functionality for spreadsheets as well. Um, obviously, we had eBay File Manager back then, but it was rudimentary to say the least. Oh, eBay File Exchange, I remember it well. It was either that or Turbo Lister, and they, they, they were both quite rudimentary tools. Yeah, yeah. Turbo Lister, we dabbled with in the very, very early days, but it, it was um, it's maybe where all my hair went. So can you tell me, when you first implemented an ERP system, uh, what were the immediate benefits for the business? Yeah, so just to, to bring it up again, the bulk edit functionality just, just changed things. It, it cut man hours away very, very quickly. Allowed us to get back in line with any eBay changes and obviously manage our listings quickly and and change that. That was the initial initial take on board. Uh, also, order processing, we had full label functionality from, from the get-go, so we weren't dealing with individually printing Royal Mail labels or career labels. We had most careers on board from the beginning, so it worked out greatly in, in that for us. And what does it do for you today that perhaps you hadn't even considered when you first implemented it back in the day? Yeah, my the strongest point that's made for me that I was always surprised at is um, the order processing, the pack and screen and Volo. We we had issues in the early days of orders being processed wrong. Um, it's something some that's surprisingly hard to overcome at times. Um, orders being picked or packed maybe not quite correctly. So obviously with our with our system, items are scanned. If an item's picked wrong, if an item's changed, it obviously flags it up straight away. So every, everything's now barcoded? Yes, it is indeed. And what are, are kind of the, the, the time savings? I'm talking people, I don't know how many people you have working on the e-com, and if you didn't have an ERP, I'm imagining it, it, it would need a significantly larger headcount. Yeah, definitely, for sure. Uh, even what I brought up there a moment ago was the career integration and, and labels. We we used to enter addresses into Royal Mail's website by hand. And oh, even gosh. career websites, we used to enter those by hand. You, you had an order sheet in front of you, the item, and someone sitting and typing it out. And it was just whenever you look at the prop, once the proper system's in place, it's just, it's a game changer, it really is. Yeah, and I guess it's not just the time, it's also the, the human error of cutting and pasting or typing and addressing. It's just too easy to get it wrong when you're doing hundreds of orders a day. Yeah, it is indeed. It is indeed. People are not designed to sit and do the same thing over and over and over again. Mm. The mind will wander and then mistakes will happen. So can you tell me, if I was to buy something from you today, what happens when the order gets into your, I think you said you used the Volo system, what happens when the order, let's say I placed an order on eBay, Volo picks it up. What happens then Then behind the scenes and, and, and what do you actually have to still physically do with humans? Well, we obviously still, uh, we still need humans to obviously go pick and pack the orders. Um, I've seen some very elaborate packing lines and stuff um, on different videos, but we have, we have such a vast range of products um, from tiny 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 items from washers for your fuel injection system right up to massive not even car parts but we do other massive items that just wouldn't it wouldn't facilitate any sort of automation so if an order comes in from us uh we we tend to batch print the orders two or three times a day um that order will then they will come out um on a on a picking list we it will then be handed manually person will go person will follow the route round the warehouse pick that order pick your spark plug or whatever it may be um they will place it um on it goes into a little basket in our, in our warehouse it gets uh taken down to the taken down to the packing room the folk in the packing room then will lift the item, scan that order number, 
the information will appear on the screen, including a picture of the item, which is a, a very good visual confirmation for any color variations or anything like that. They'll scan the item as long as the barcode on the item matches what the order is expecting. The rest is all automated from there. Label will print out, should it be Royal Mail or Courier, label will print out from um, the little thermal printers we have. While label, label only takes five, 10 seconds maybe to print at the very most, but in that time, the folk in the packing room have that parcel packaged up nice and neatly and label comes out, label's stuck onto the front of the parcel and placed into the post bag then for collection. So very much cutting out as much of the human work as possible on the tech side. And yeah, but talk to me, what happens on the, the, the sort of reporting side and how do you reorder inventory? I'm assuming that I buy a couple of spark plugs. You, you've probably got dozens, if not hundreds, of the same spark plug on the shelf. How, how do you keep track of your inventory? And does the system tell you when to reorder? Does it automatically reorder? Is it still a manual process? Oh no! It's, it, thankfully, it's it's mostly automated now uh, for the majority of our lines. The, we will uh, Volo is a very good system that we can set minimum stock uh, levels, and as soon as, as soon as your inventory comes down to that stock level, uh, the the system will automatically generate an order. We've very good control over that. We can set minimum quantity orders and things like that. Um, we're in Northern Ireland here. Uh, so a lot, lot of the suppliers um, from the mainland might have a slightly a slightly higher carriage paid order than, nor than for local customers. So we're, we're very good controlling that we can tell in Volo, we can tell the system exactly when the order should it be the likes of that carriage paid limit or when uh, on a particular day of the week and on a time that suits you know, certain suppliers prefer to receive mm -hmm. our orders on a certain day. So we very, very good control over that. And like I said, we can set the minimum quantity and we can set even the box amounts and stuff like that. So it's all automated. If if you order two spark plugs and it takes it down to that trigger level, it will, um, Volo will spit out an order um, whenever the criteria is all met and it gets automatically emailed across to suppliers. So that must be some amazing time saving in, in, in there, just j just on the reordering and stock checking. Absolutely. And again, like you mentioned earlier, hu human error is gone because I one of one of my bigger jobs here would be to, to analyze the reports on that and see if that spark plug that you bought, if that has ever gone out of stock in the last month, I will know sorry out of stock with ourselves in the last month i will know right we need to we need to trigger that order a wee bit sooner on that part number mm -hmm. and so on and so forth and are there any kind of other specific benefits you can talk to from using the volo e-commerce erp um what would you miss most if it wasn't in your business today oh other than what's mentioned yeah definitely the the facility to print labels, the order management, um, the the warehouse management side of things as well. Um, the ability, because Volo can tell us, uh, we can we can set a a pick pattern within Volo. Um, sorry, that's not that's not the right term they use for it. Sorry, but it's um, it will it, we can set an efficient path through the through the warehouse. So our our packing staff, or sorry, our packing staff can, can follow the one route up and down, the most efficient route, and and to get and to get their their pack of orders dropped to the dropped to the packing rooms efficiently. So um, huge, huge, huge benefits there then, because yeah, <laughs> I imagine the time it. saving of not keeping <clears throat> picking one item, going to the other end of the warehouse, picking another, and then going back because you need one next to the first item again. Thanks. Exactly. The big, the big thing that really grates me is when you pick that one item, take it to take it to the pack room, and then you realize that you're going straight back to get the same item again. Whereas yeah. on on the Volo system, it will tell you to lift ten when you're there. So 
proper warehouse management system with pit pack routes. Yeah, yeah. So moving on, for businesses that <coughs> are perhaps not got an e-commerce ERP system, what advice would you have for them on selecting a system today? I mean, if, if, if you were going back today, what are the criteria that a, a, a modern e-commerce business should be thinking about? Definitely have a look at how much manual work you do, how, how much time you set inputting data. Should it be onto a postage system, onto a courier system to get that package shipped? Because that's, that's certainly where we've seen a big time saver. Um, inventory control as well. Just having that ability to, to look and see exactly what the trends are, what's moving quicker than maybe what you thought, and you certainly get, you certainly get a good insight as to as to what might be sell, might, what might sell out quicker than what you thought. And, yeah, and on the opposite opposite end of the scale as well, you might get an insight as to what's not selling, and be able to obviously make adjustments to suit. Yeah, so it, it, it sounds very much to me it, it, uh, a, a huge amount of the benefit on, on the, the management side is the insights and reporting and the vision of the whole whole, whole business from what's selling, what's not selling, the reordering, uh, and, and then being able to set parameters around that to, to actually grow the business with the tr triggering of automatic reordering, for example. Yes, certainly. We were we were in a good spot in that whenever we whenever we came on board with Volo, we had staff here that were concerned, you know, that maybe their job might come at risk. But it wasn't the case for us at all. We, the growth that we made was able to just reallocate those people to, to adjust their, their jobs slightly, and we had to. We ended up having to bring more people on, not because. There was more work to do. There was far less work to do, but we were able to we were able to spend time rather than spending time putting someone's address in the Royal Mail site to print a label with people with people adding new listings all the time. Then, and we're able to greatly grow greatly grow the amount of inventory we had listed, uh, and just the company just grew and grew from there. And to give us an idea of the scale of the business today, I know you said um, right at the start of the interview, you said you started with sort of half a dozen or so listings on eBay from old stock that you just couldn't shift. How many listings do you have on marketplaces today to give us an idea of the scale of the business? Um, across all marketplaces, uh, we, we do have, we do sell into Europe as well, uh, probably about 500,000 listings. <laughs> that has been massive growth over the the, the 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 past twenty years you've been with the business. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's it's been great. Uh, John, I want to thank you for your time so much and for your insights on what an e-commerce ERP can do for a business. And I think my biggest takeaway is. Uh, um, number one, the, the the kind of automation of the routine tasks just for running a business and getting out of the orders out of the door. But I think the second takeaway has to be the insights and the reporting that give you the, the overview and the vision of the entire business and be able to plan for growth in the future. So, John, yeah. thank you so much for your time. Chris, thank you. Lovely to meet you again. Cheers, mate.